All right, so for our reverse push-ups, um, we can really hang from anything. Okay, so in, in this scenario, I'm going to be hanging from this bar that's on the squat rack. Uh, we can hang from a dip bar. Uh, we can hang from TRX straps. Really, it's whatever you have access to. Okay, but the key is no matter what we're hanging from, the target area from where our hands are going to be, whether it's a bar, whether it's straps, whether uh, whatever it may be, is where the bar would hit when we bench. All right. So a lot of times, when I see us do this, we're too high. Okay. So as we're pulling up, we're hitting like up here by our neck or. Our, on top of our collarbone, okay? Really, we're hitting that middle part of our chest and we're doing this correctly, just like a lot of our rowing exercise, right? So if I was doing like a three-point row and I'm tucking that elbow near my rib cage, that's essentially the path that I want to take with my body, okay? So when I get on here, some of you prefer to keep your legs straight, some of you want to elevate and lock your hips, I'm going to do that version. That doesn't make a huge difference, okay? Some of us also like to add plate weight to our chest. Again, relative to you, what you have access to, you just have to make sure that the form is correct, okay? So from here, I'm hanging down. All I want to do is squeeze up to where my, that bar is hitting where I'm going to be on the bench, and then I control it back down. And up, one, into the next. Whether my hips are locked out like I have, whether I have straight legs, I'm going up and down. Again, that bar is hitting at that same spot on my chest every single time, and I'm squeezing and controlling down. Squeezing and controlling down. 